Welcome to Tabletop.ready, my name's Michael and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can paint your Death Corpse of Krieg and get them looking like the ones Games Workshop has painted. I'll list what paints and brushes I've used in this tutorial in the description below. If you enjoy my content make sure to give the video a like and subscribe for future tutorials on the channel. You can follow me on Instagram where I post short form tutorials of my videos and if you want to share with me what hobby you're working on go over and join the r slash tabletop ready subreddit. Whenever I'm putting some miniatures together I always like to think about whether I want to leave some parts separate to make painting the miniatures easier. For these Death Corps of Greek miniatures I decided to leave any backpack separate along with any guns and accessories that cover the chest area. I'm also going to be batch painting these miniatures which basically means I complete one stage of painting on the whole unit before I move on to the next stage. This helps give me a more consistent finish across the unit and it just makes painting them more efficient. I absolutely love these miniatures. There's plenty of detail and so much character to them. But I know that can be really intimidating to paint. But I want to show you how you can achieve some fantastic looking miniatures that I think anyone is capable of painting. Let's get started. I've undercoated everything with grey sear spray first. It's a good mid-tone colour but it still allows me to get those vibrant colours without too much work. I'm going to start by blocking in some of the colours instead of working on each kind of detail individually. This means I don't have to worry too much about ruining areas I may have already painted in the messy stage of painting the miniatures and I can apply washes to multiple areas at the same time if I need to. The first details I'm going to paint are the trench coats. I'm using the fang and to make sure I get a nice even solid colour I always like to thin my paints first and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. Make sure to keep your brush moving and try not to go over any areas you've already painted. It's also better to paint in multiple thin layers. So once that layer is dried, repeat the process until you have that nice even solid colour we're after. I'm now going to block in all the other colours starting with Mornfang Brown, painting all the straps and pouches. Next I'll paint all the boots with dryer bark. The armour plates with the Iron Warriors. And finally I use iron hand steel for weapons, accessories and the little buttons you see all over the miniature. Now that I've finished blocking all these colours I want to create some definition and start bringing out all the detail and the best way to do that is with a wash. To create the wash I mix in an equal amount of Norn Oil with Lamy Medium. This is going to weaken the strength of the wash so it doesn't do all the colours that I've already painted but still create that definition I'm after. You may want to put down some kitchen paper first because it's going to get messy. This is the reason I blocked in all these colours first, because I knew I wanted to apply the same wash over these areas. You don't want to use a lot, just enough so it covers the miniature comfortably, and if you find it pulling up too much in the areas, just remove the excess wash with a brush, and then leave the wash to fully dry before moving on to the next step. Now the wash is fully dried, you can see that it started to create the definition I was after. But I do want to take it a step further. I'm just going to use some Norn Oil as it is to go around the miniature and darken those deeper recesses. I also use this on the little buttons and weapons to bring out the detail even more. Before moving on to painting the other details like trousers and weapon casings, I want to finish these areas I've already painted. This just breaks up painting the miniature and I always feel more motivated once I've finished some areas. I want to start by highlighting the trench coat with some rust grey. You want to pick out any edges and then paint some thin lines to define the folds in the coat. Just take your time. I also highlight the boots with some Gawthor Brown before moving on. Next I'm going to work on the straps, packs and pouches. But first of all I quickly paint in the details on the chest gizmo. I'm using some Abaddon Black and then some Mephiston Red. And I'll also paint the eye lenses as well while I'm at it. Now that those are done, I'm going to start painting these areas by layering up with some Monfang Brown. This just allows me to neaten up any messy areas and gives a nice solid colour to work with. Then highlight these areas using Talon Sand. And again, just take your time. Now it's time to start working on the other details starting with the trousers and cuffs. Start by painting these areas with Femrisian Grey, making sure to get a solid colour. Next, mix an equal amount of Lamy Medium with some Rust Grey. I use this as a wash over the Femrisian Grey to get that definition. 
and then finish off these areas by layering back up with Emerizin Grey. I'm now going to paint the leg wraps and the roll on the pack with some Zandri Dust. I then give the roll a wash using some Xerophon Sapia. Then using some Yushabti Bone I paint the wraps leaving the Zandri Dust still showing in the recesses and I'll finish the roll with a highlight. And then I'll finish up the leg wraps with a highlight of Screaming Skull. For any details that are painted black, I would start with some Abaddon Black. This includes gloves and the mask tube. The gloves are highlighted using some Storm Vermin fur, and the other black details are highlighted using Dawnstone. To finish off the metals on the miniature, I'm going to start by painting any details you want to be gold with some Retributor armor, and then give these a wash using Reichlin Flesh Shade. After that has dried, I highlight all the metallic details using Stormhouse Silver. And you can add some little scratches here and there if you want to while doing this step. The only thing left to paint now is the mask. Start with some Rakar Flesh, then layer up using some Pallid Witch Flesh. And finish the lenses by painting a little dot of Wild Rider Red in the centre of each lens. And finally, you're not likely to see a clean Death Corpse Guardsman without some dirt on him. So I thin down some Storm Vermin fur with some Lamy Medium, and I use this to create some dirt on the bottom of the trench coats and boots. You want to build this up in layers rather than as a wash. The Death Corpse of Krieg are now finished, and I hope you can now go away and paint yours in the same way to match those you see on the box. I also have an alternative colour scheme to paint Nicadians, so make sure you go and check that tutorial out as well. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you got something useful from watching this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments below. Subscribe so you don't miss out on future content on the channel and I'll see you in the next video.